Hey guys, what is going on? Gamer James here. Thank you very much for clicking play. Right, well, we are straight back in. Uh, if you watched the last video, you saw us beat Strasbourg in the Coupe de la Ligue third round. And today we are straight into the next game, which is Paris Saint-Germain away. Now this is going to be tough, tough, tough. Um, if you uh, look at last season's league table, they won it by <laughs> oh, 26 points. They won the league by last season from Monaco. Uh, this season, they've already hit top, unbeaten in 12 so far this season. Look at that, 35 scored and just eight conceded. So, I mean, they're, they're winning on average, but nearly the scoring was three a game and conceding one every uh, every game and a half something like that so it's um gonna be a bit daunting not really sure why i've picked this one um it's probably gonna hurt but uh, you know it's gotta be done it's a huge huge game historically psg against marseille is a massive massive game so if we have a look at marseille's transfers uh they they left it quite late in the um in the uh, in the window they didn't sign anyone until uh, mid-august but uh, what a signing it was pierre emmerich obama yang came in from dortmund for 51 million euros rising to 67 he is my favorite bundesliga player at the minute um is not just because of his name great name pierre emmerich obama yang so much fun to say go on try it pierre emmerich obama yang so 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 much fun to say even more fun to watch the guy play. He is sensational. He's 28. I didn't actually realise he was quite that old. Oh, well, this is in 2017, so he's actually uh, he's actually only 27. But I, you know, I thought he was uh, he was maybe 23, 24. He's 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 just so much fun to watch. It's a shame he isn't a little bit younger because he's he's right at the top of his game now. PSG obviously in real life are interested in him. Uh, he's had a decent start as well. Ten goals in ten games in La, in uh, Ligue 1. Three and three in the Champions League as well. Uh, so he is just ridiculously good. Um, he did all right last season at Dortmund, got 20 in the league, 26 in all competitions. He will blow that away while he's at PSG. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's a bit worrying. Uh, needless to say, we're going to be playing a very deep defensive line because we do not want that guy getting in behind us because acceleration of 20 and pace of 19 he would just destroy us if he gets in behind and stamina of 17 he'd just run and run all day they also brought in Jairo Riedewald he's from Ajax a centre back looks pretty decent uh made four appearances very much one for the future for them Hugo Mayo from Celta Vigo has come in as well uh he's made quite a few appearances looks like he's doing really well and Fagner from Corinthians came in uh, he's made a couple of starts and again looks really really good at right back so they've done some really good business uh, spent an awful lot of money 100 million euros just sold 16.75 million uh, Cedric Bakambu is a big one uh, after they signed Obama Yang a couple of weeks later he was on his way to Lyon so yeah can't say i'm particularly looking forward to this especially doing it on camera but there we go uh last season this was before i joined uh, it was a 2-2 draw at the velodrome and a 2-1 win for paris saint germain in the part de france so uh yeah let's see how we get on with this one shall we we have got our tactics set up i said i was going to do a um a defensive tactic uh this one i've kind of taken inspiration from uh, from bood fm because uh, he's got one called the wall which is very very similar to this uh, i don't think i don't think it's quite the same in terms of the the roles of the players um but in terms of the setup it's very very similar i've called mine roadblock um and it's with a really really deep defensive line i mean you can't get any deeper because up against obama young i just cannot cannot allow him to get in behind um and it's basically a route one formation uh dembele we've got him i was I was um and I don't know whether to play him as a target man or a complete forward, but a complete forward says he possesses all the technical attributes of a deep line forward, the goal scoring ability of a poacher, and the strength and power of a target man. So it seems like the perfect striker for this role. Uh, so we'll see how he goes. I mean, at the end of the day, if we get a nil-nil out of this, I would be delighted. 
absolutely delighted. It's on key highlights. If it just ticks through from minute one to minute 90, then it, you know that would be fine with me. Um, I'd find another way to entertain you, but minute one to minute 90, if it's nil-nil, not gonna apologize for trying to get a point out of this ugly. We're not there. We're not ready to challenge PSG uh, at the minute. Uh, we will, um, uh, that is the aim, of course, of the series uh, now, uh, now that we're here. That is that is what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to build a team back up to challenge the title. We're a long, long way behind PSG, though. I mean, we're only uh, 12 games in and we're already 12 points behind them. So it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. So let's just get away with these questions. Hopefully there'll only be one. Uh, there's only one journalist, so it can't be that many. Um, there's one thing I've noticed. I took this job at the back end of last season, um, and I this is my first meeting with PSG. And the press conference before the match, actually, I'm just going to send the assistant. Uh, the press conference before the match, they were saying about a war of words between me and Unai Emery, the, their manager, after last the last time we met. And I was like, well, I've not played them before. This is my first match against them. So that kind of, um, yeah, that kind of just makes me, uh, you know, a little bit, a bit FM's not particularly perfect there, is it? Um, right, I'm just, I think I'm going to calmly, calmly tell them that we're the underdogs, but get out there. So some, yeah, pretty good reaction to that, I think. Uh, there's no point going in really trying to uh, to rile them up, to, uh, to passionately tell them to do anything or assertively do anything. It's just calmly, you know, come across as calm and hopefully that'll transmit to the players that's the plan anyway so let us see what happens here uh this as i say this this could hurt this could really 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 hurt um Verratti with a free kick early on and Aubameyang and Riedewald and the roadblock is beaten inside six and a half minutes and it's Jairo Riedewald's first goal for the club Verratti's free kick flicked on by Aubameyang and that just caught everyone out. That's a shocking goal to def to give up defensively. <clears throat> and you set your team up with these tactics, and then you know you can't legislate for things like that. It's it's really really bad. I was hoping to get away with a nil nil, and oh, this is not going to go. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. As Costile picks up that cross, let's see what we can do from this. Dembele. Not even challenging for that. But Clichy picks it up. Now Tovan. Van Kerr to Pires. El Kadri. Good pass in this. El Kadri playing as a box to box. Gets the shot away. But yeah, I'm guessing long shots are not his forte. I'm just wondering what damage this would do to us. How far down the league we could go. We could slip two or three places if we do lose. Or when we lose. I guess is the uh, is more to the point. As Pastore. Wow. Take a Busan. That was some strike, and it's already his fourth goal of the season. And I guess, oh, that is just a sensational goal. Absolutely no backlift. And the, you know, that's the problem, isn't it? You you come here, you set up defensively, and then they've got players like that that can just they can just pick a peach of a shot from from 25, 30 yards, and you've got no chance. And we are three nil down, and the roadblock is just non-existent this is absolutely abysmal Thiago Silva's in in the action now well I mean I was expecting to lose even with that defensive formation but I suppose the mentality I don't know <clears throat> the mentality set a standard maybe that's uh, maybe that was a problem as it's 4-0 Wow. 4 0 before the break. Lucas Moura again with the assist, puts it across, and Sakai came in, tackled, tackled it, but it bounced off Di Maria. Well, at least we've got 11 men on the pitch still. Um, that sh probably should have been set to counter to begin with, but. Well, yeah, it's been a abysmal performance I kind of expected three or four nil uh, at full time so uh, at half time that's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit disappointing but oh well PSG are by far the best team 
in France for a reason. So yeah, they won the league by 26 points. So you just you, you just struggle to compete with that. And then they go out and spend money on someone like Aubameyang. It's you, we're just like I said, we're light years away from competing with that. It was it was never never on the agenda to compete with them this season. European qualification is what's on the agenda this season. Uh, preferably through the league but we need to uh, we need to not take an absolute pasting here or not any more of a pasting than we are taking we could do a closing down every once in a while that would be nice what have we got set up there let's have a look closing down sometimes no we need to close down more that was one I obviously missed whoops set us up with the wrong mentality and then set us up with the wrong with the wrong tackling as well uh, right Tovan can come off and Cabela can come on who have we got that can come on in midfield not really uh, Kravinovic can come on for El Kadrawi and we'll just uh, we'll just go with that for now just do the two I always like to keep one in reserve if possible uh, it'd be nice if we could get a goal and win the second half that would be good uh, Dembele not playing well but I, you can't really judge him on that because he's got absolutely he's totally isolated I understand that oh Mr. Header and Obama Young makes it five but th this is the thing I mean you, I'd be amazed if anyone's taken on Liga and and, and won it with anyone other than Paris Saint-Germain for the first three or four seasons because I, I just think that until some of these players until Pastore and Lucas Moore and until you know while they've still got all these players and adding to it you know they've got untold wealth in you know in real life no one's gonna get anywhere near them for well for the foreseeable future four or five years because I just don't see how anyone can get anywhere close to them to be honest they're just such a such a dominant dominant force uh, it's you know I mean <sighs> I, can you tell I'm just trying to um, oh, what do I do here I mean Dembele's had an awful game so you know, I'm going to take him off and give I, one of our young lads a, a go <clears throat> excuse me um, when I set it up deep line forward was the one that was the position it gave to the striker so that's Rabiard's preferred position so we'll give him that I just thought complete forward might have been slightly better for this formation but um, mind you I think I modelled it on a 4-5-1 and then moved players around in it I think I used a 4-5-1 as my base so it needs a bit of tinkering this but we went with an ultra defensive formation and we've been absolutely spanked it just makes you wonder if we'd have gone for it what we would have what we would have done we, you know it would have been 8-9 probably it's you know they've had 12 shots on target 27 in total they're probably going to get another one here. It's De Shiglio to Di Maria, Ben Arthur, Krikoviak. Oh, they're just knocking it around. As we've got all, everyone behind the ball, except Rabiard, and Ben Arthur fires wide. We're restricting them to long range a lot of the time, to be fair. That defensive line, for some reason, it was breached with the fifth, Aubameyang's uh, second goal. And that is not that's not a deep that's not a def deep line. If you looked at that there, that was not a deep defensive line. As Mora gets in and Costile saves, but the goal difference has taken absolute battering here. Um, I mean, if we just pull this out a bit, it's gone down to minus four now. Our goal difference. It has taken an absolute smashing. Ben Arthur puts another one out. He's had a few shots now since coming on, but yeah, this one's taken. It's uh, a lot of my players are looking really, really tired as well, which is a bit of a worry. Cabela plays it to Rabiard, and that's a great bottle, but Clichy won't get onto it. And yeah, that's uh, as I said at the beginning, that could hurt. Um, I suppose he you've kind of you've kind of got to say something to them but it's a it's a tough it's a tough one to call really be, because how do you go about that <laughs> because you go into that game knowing you're going to get smashed to bits 
Uh, the possession was closer than I expected it to be. So, but uh, yeah, that was um, oh, that was painful. So we've had a 4-0 and a 5-0 now this season. So we really need to get back on track. We've got Valenciennes at home. Uh, and then we've got Auxerre away. Toulouse at home. I'm just going to play a, a few off camera. Um, I think I might come back for San Etienne. We might do San Etienne at home. That may be the next one that we do because we've got um, we've got an international break coming up after Valenciennes. So yeah, we'll probably come back for San Etienne. Uh, by then, we'll know when the who we've got in the Coupe de la Ligue. Uh, will we know who we've got in the French Cup by then? Let's have a look at the calendar. When the draw for the Coupe de la Ligue is on the fifteenth of November. And the nope, not seeing, not seeing it there. Okay, when is the um, senior fixtures? French Cup ninth round is on the sixth of January. So when is the? Okay, well that's January. All right, did I miss it? You're all probably shouting at me saying, it was there, it was there. And it's not there. You'd think he would put that in there of when it's going to be. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe they only put it in there when you get through to it, I guess. Uh, so I suppose a few rounds to play. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please click that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and you can also follow on Twitter and follow the blog for my journeyman save the links for that are in the show notes um as always i will leave a link for the uh, for the skin that i use uh, the tcs skin that i downloaded from fm scout so i'll just leave that in the show notes as well and show them the uh, the love they deserve uh, but guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you again soon cheers